for another two more minutes and we'll be starting the session. Once my screen is visible, please let me know in the chat box. Is my screen visible? That's great. Superb, 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 superb. Okay, so let me just engage with the crowd for a while. Uh, how many of you are option buyers? How many of you are option buyers? So we have almost 42 participants as of now. On which how many of you are option buyers? One. So Rajesh says buyer, Kumar says buyer, Raghunathan says, and uh, we have Shivag. Okay, so we have P.D. Rao, Raghavendra, Chai, Nitish. Okay, there are many option buyers. That's great. Super. So today, like, I'll be going to uh, discuss, like, very, very important thing for option buyers as well. So as an option buyer, like, what is your major uh, fear? Okay, or else you just think what makes or what gives you uh, the fear of losing or what need to be your plus? What is your fear? And uh, if one thing is in your favor, then you are going to make money. What it is? Uh, DK, uh, DK is not that much. Okay, reversals. Okay. Okay. As an option buyer, like when you make money. As an option buyer, like when you make money. Come on, guys. Let me just put the question the other way. As an option buyer, require momentum in our direction. Good. First point, momentum. Okay, first point is momentum. Second point, correct entry and exits. So we call it as set stop loss, entry, and then target. Correct set, momentum, momentum as well as the entry. Okay, so in order to find, in order to find out the entry, exit, stop loss, the first and foremost thing what you need to know is the direction of the market. The direction of the market. Okay. So that's the first and foremost thing what we guys need to know. Okay. So now, once you know the direction, will you make money? Once you know the direction, will you make money? Come on, guys. Let me know your answers in chat box. See, I want you guys to be more engaged on the session so that you, you can get lots and lots of insights in today's session. Okay, so obviously, okay, so uh, once you know the direction, you can literally make money. Okay, see, most of the time, like what we think is market is an uptrend. But once we enter, market comes down. And we used to take a short question. Once we enter, market used to go up. This is, what, this is what most of the time happens, right? So on this case, let me just understand the market in a totally different direction. Okay. So now let me just put it on the other way. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if there is a person who is having 100 CR, okay, he creates an open interest in the market. So he has a view that market will go bullish. Okay. So there is a person with 100 crores. Okay, whether he can drive the market or a person who put one lot drives the market. Who drives the market? Who drives the market? Come on, guys. The person who puts 100 crores into the market or the person who puts one lot? Obviously, <clears throat> it's going to be the 100 crores. Obviously, it's going to be the 100 person. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to help you guys in creating something which, which, which works in the market. Okay. So, first, let me just take Nifty. So, Nifty, uh, how Nifty was happening today. So let me just duplicate it. And let me just add Nifty over here. Nifty Futures, I have just added Nifty Futures. And let me just open the chat. Okay. 
So what was happening in Nifty today? So Nifty has opened somewhere here and it just went directly to down. And from here, all of a sudden it just went up. And from there it came down, up, down, up. Okay, this is how, this is what happened in Nifty. And now let me just go and look into Bank Nifty. What Bank Nifty has happened. So in Bank Nifty, we can see very clearly, it opened, it opened over here, went slightly down, up, and then after that, it never went above, came down, up, down. Okay, so there is like two different scenario which has happened today. And it is very good that you guys will be able to understand whatever I'm trying to say in today's session very easily with these two examples. So what I'm going to showcase you guys is the open interest. Okay, how many of you know about open interest? How many of you know about open interest? How many of you, we have 52 participants. How many of you know about open interest? Okay, few people know about open interest. Okay, so this is an apple. Okay, this is an apple. I have an apple. Okay, I'm a person. I have an apple. And now there comes another person who wants to buy an apple. Okay, so will this guy be Okay, will he get the apple from me? There is an apple, okay, with me, where I'm A, and there is a person B, he comes out and asks for an apple. Will he get the apple? Will he get the apple? He has to purchase. Come on, any other, any other reply? He has to purchase that. That's, that that's, that's one thing is very clear. What about the other point? A person B comes to me and asks for an apple. Who is willing to pay more will get okay. Fine. That, that is also really fine. That's on the terms of bid and ask. Yes, exactly. Mr. Is uh, says it very clearly. If someone is selling, okay, if I am ready to sell this apple. Then only the person B can buy it. Then only the person can buy it. The person B can buy it. So now you get you can understand one thing very clearly. If there should be, if there is a contract which has been transited between A and B, okay. So obviously A need to sell it. If A shows the interest to sell it then only the B can buy or else the B can never buy or else the B can never buy an apple okay, or the contract. So now open interest is created in terms of buyer or seller. Who comes out first? The open interest comes out from the seller or the buyer. Seller or buyer? Come on, guys. We have 51 participants. See, this is a very, very base. This is a very, very base. You guys just address for the next 15 minutes. It's going to fruit you in the upcoming all trading days. Okay, it's, it's a very, very simple stuff. Okay, see, obviously there should be a seller to create an open interest. If the seller is not there, the open interest will not be created. Okay, and people, people will say, Okay, if the buyer comes into picture and buyer asks, uh, like buyer uh, quotes higher value, say like uh, that's totally a different story. But the seller should be there in order to initiate a buyer, initiate a new contract. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this is what you guys will see everywhere whenever it goes to analytical platform. How many of you seen this page? Like it's it's not only in store options. There are many platforms which provide. And or, or like a, a screen like this. How many of you seen this earlier? Okay. So what it means, these are open interest. These are open interest. Okay. These are open interest. And now, and now I'm just going to ask you a question. So here you can see the call option says 82 lakh open interest. Put option is 34 lakh open interest. 
So the 82 lakh contracts, which is open in call option, whether it is long or it is short, whether it is long or short, here, whatever you see, the 82 lakh open interest, whether it is short or long, exactly, it's a short position. It's a short position. So, so now what's very clear, now it is very clear that call option has been sold to a greater extent than the put option. So if call option is sold to a greater extent, what's the view of the market, of the particular open interest creator? When the call option open interest is higher, what is view in the market? He has a negative view in the market. Okay, on the other hand, 21,000. 21,000 put option. You can see 99 lakh open interest is there. Call option has only 28 lakh open interest. Now you guys tell me whether the person who has taken the put option over here, the 99, the 99 lakh open interest denotes bullish view or a bearish view? Denotes a bullish view or bearish view? Okay, it denotes a bullish view. So now, so now, this is what people used to justify. So wherever you go, like people used to say this word. Uh, so today we can see maximum open interest in two strikes, which is 21,000 and the other one is 21,500. So this expiry is expected to be within the range of 21,000 and 21,500. How many of you hear this word? How many of you hear this word? This is what people used to commonly say. Okay, so now we guys are going to do it in a different way. We are going to understand the market structure. Okay, so based upon open interest. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, what you can see over here is very simple. So here, this particular strike uh, and this particular strike, this particular strike. Okay, let me just go ahead and show something else. Standing away. So we can see here, 21,150. So 21,150 till 21,400. I have selected all the strikes. Okay. So 21,150. So where is 21,150? Yeah. 21,150. So 21,150 from here till 20. 1450. Okay, let me clear this. Okay, from here, from 150 till 450, this particular range, this particular range I have selected. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add all the put option, put option, put option, put option. The put option over here, the put option over here, put option over here. Okay, so all this seven put option, I'm just going to add it. And I'm going to add the seven call options, the open interest. Okay, so now I will get two values. The cumulative, cumulative call option, open interest, and cumulative put option, open interest of these seven strikes, of these seven strikes. Okay, so why I have taken these seven strikes alone? Come on guys, just have a guess. Why I have taken only these seven strikes? Only these seven strikes, why I have taken? <clears throat> maximum open interest, exactly the maximum open interest. Apart from that, they are closer to the current price exactly. These are the most active strikes exactly. It's near nearest to the current price. Okay. So now, see, someone is not going to take a position very far away over here. Okay. So if you are selling, if you are selling these strikes, okay. So if you are selling these strikes, where will be your... Uh, if you're taking an iron condor, you just sold the ATM 21,350. You will be buying uh, the very immediate strike or you'll be buying far OTM for hedge. For hedge, you'll be buying far OTM. 
obviously. So no one is going to sell this strike and going to buy immediately. Okay, they are going to do only far OTMs. They are going to do it only on far OTMs. So now we don't want to take the values which is far. Because in the far OTM, rather than creating, see, rather than people creating positions, they create the hedge. Okay, the base will be over here in the seven strikes. The out of seven strikes, people used to get it for the hedge. People used to get it for the hedge. And that is what I, I, I will do. And obviously, I think so, like each and everyone will do the same. Okay, so now that's why I just taken the open interest only for the nearby seven strikes. And then I just plot it as a single value. I just plot it as a single value. So you can see here, call option open interest. Let me just take it from 9.15 in the morning. Okay, just take it from 9.15 in the morning. You can see here, in the morning, uh, 23 lakh contracts in open interest and put option and 1 lakh contract in, sorry, uh, 22 lakhs contract in, op uh, in call option and 23 lakhs in put option. Now you guys tell me, the difference is 1 lakh positive because in put option, we have higher. So what is the view in the market in the 915 itself? The 915 in the sense, it's yesterday. Yesterday on the close, what was the value? Whether it is bullish or bearish? It is bullish. And today morning, once it opened, the from 1 lakh 17 contract, it came to 96,000. And once the 921 candle, it went to 2 lakh contracts. And from 2 lakh contract, it went to 15 lakh contract. So by 936, you have 15 lakh contracts, which is on the bullish side. If it is bullish side, the contract, which is whether it will be happening in open interest in put option or call option. Which one will be higher? Put option, exactly. Exactly. So we can see here, 85 lakh contracts are there in put option. Whereas 70 lakh contracts in call option. So now the difference is 15 lakhs, right? The 15 lakhs is what we have as a difference. So now what do you expect the market to go? Whether the market will go up or down? Whether the market will go up or down? Up, 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 up. Now you just see what happened over here. From 15 lakhs, it went to 20 lakhs, 26 lakhs. 46 lakhs, 54 lakhs, 59 lakhs, 70 lakh, 97 lakh, one crore contract. Okay, now my question is, there is one crore contract, which means that one crore 60, uh, one crore 67 lakh contracts are there in put option and 63 lakh contracts in call option. Now, what's your view in the market? What's your view in the market? The market will be bullish or bearish? Okay, and see the cumulative, the difference in open interest will give us an understanding whether the market is bullish or bearish. And we have plotted the value over here. We have plotted the value over here. And now, now whenever the market moves up, right? And whenever the market comes down, you see, in Nifty, in Nifty opened over here, opened over here, and immediately came down, went up, down, up, down. Once you once it comes down, what you do? You just switch it from, if you are in long, you'll be switching it to short position, right? You switch it to short position at 130. Most of the people will do that, 130. Okay, we will just enter over here and market will go one second back. This is what maximum time of, maximum time it used to happen. And now I just justify it through in stop options, you can see here at 130, it's here. But still, whether we are in positive open interest or negative open interest, let me just take it to 130. Okay, so 130, we have 1 crore 28 lakh contracts. 1 crore 28 lakh contracts. Now you guys tell me whether the market is bullish or bearish at 130. Whether the market is bullish or bearish at 130. 
Come on, guys. We got answer only from Kumar. What about others? Whether we have a bullish view on the market or bearish view. Yeah, like we'll just come up because we, we had that in uh, Bank Nifty. We'll just check it out. Don't worry. See, obviously, obviously, you can just notice one thing. Okay. So even like we have something like 128,000 contracts. Just give me a moment. There is a small disturbance of mine. Okay. So we can see here like 128,000 contracts has been still there on the bullish momentum on the bullish momentum and that sustained that sustained till the end of the market and that's what exactly happened over here and we can see exactly the market open even the despite opened over here it never allowed to come back <clears throat> it never allowed to go down it never allowed to go down obviously it is just making the highs it is making the highs continuously okay so now let me just take an another different example so this is what happened in nifty that's literally fine and what about bank nifty we'll go to bank nifty okay and then we'll just try to understand and we can just take fin nifty okay fin nifty was more bearish you can see here market in the morning was totally undefined because like we had only less contracts, 88 lakhs, 1 lakh, 20,000, uh, 20, like 2,000, negative 96. It, it was not even like more than 2 lakhs. So it was having continuously negative, negative, positive, like it was keep on changing. And let me just consider, let me have like 10 lakh contracts open. Okay, at 10, 12. Okay, at 10, 12 on Pin Nifty. Pin Nifty at 10, 12, let me just see what happens. Okay, Finifty opened over here and went up like this at somewhere like 11 o'clock. Okay, and let me just see what exactly happened at 11 o'clock. Okay, so 11 o'clock uh, at the time of 11 o'clock, it was not having any sort of big changes. From 10 lakh, it went till somewhere like 25 lakh contracts. There was a maximum one. And from 25 lakh contract, it start to decrease rapidly, continuous falls, and at the level of 12.33, it become bearish or bullish. At 12.33, it become bearish or bullish. <clears throat> Come on, type your answers in chat box. It become bearish or bullish. They become bearish. So now what you can look at 12.33. I'm just going to plot 12.33 over here. Okay, so this candle. So in this candle, it has given clear view that the market has changed bearish. I just put red color. The market has changed bearish. Even though it goes up, it just takes the supply zone, which is over here. Just enters the supply zone. And from there, it just flops it down. Okay. It just goes up to the supply zone and then come back. Okay. And after that, it never went up. After that, it never went up. And it is totally the opposite case of Nifty. Because Nifty was bullish the entire day. And for Nifty was bearish the from the moment of 12.30 and from 12.30. See, it is not going to give you the market, um, like it's not going to say you, you enter here, you exit here. Okay, it's not going to say you where to enter and where to exit. But one thing what it can say, you guys, from whatever I said till now, you guys can guess it, what I'm trying to say. It is not going to be the entry and exit. What else it's going to add to your trading system? <coughs> what else is going to add it uh, add to your trading system? So based upon the understanding, you can just 
let me know in the chat box in what way you can just use it direction and view of the market good trend may help to predict market direction exactly trend i feel like um, it's not mandate direction confirmation okay see what it a, like gives you is the confirmation okay because after 12:30 you don't look for any sort of bullish view in the market don't go and take your long trades after 12:30 if you are going to take long trades, you are going to suffer a lot. And now, in the case of Nifty, let me just go ahead and examine what happens in Nifty. In Nifty, just imagine, like you can take, say, you, you can see like market turned red over here, red over here. If you taken the trade at any point over here on bullish side, uh, on, on bearish side, okay, on any side, if you taken it bearish side, you would have been hit stop loss. Even though if you take trade over here, it would have clear stop loss. Even if you take trade over here, it would have clear the stop loss. Okay. So it is very clear. It is very clear. The entire day, Nifty was bullish. Nifty was nowhere into downtrend. Or there is no bearish view in Nifty. What you can do is, you can stop taking any sort of short position. You can stop taking any sort of short position. This is what the value it adds to you. This is what the value it adds to you. Okay. You guys just make it very clear. You guys make it very clear. Okay. So what I'm trying to say over here is you just go to option data, click on trending way and the trending way is positive. If the trending way is positive, you look for long strategy or short strategy. If the trending way is positive, if the trending way is positive, then you look for and if the trending way is negative like Fin Nifty, what is what will be your turn? If the trending way is negative. What will be your action? Whether you look for long trade or short trade? Whether you look for long trade or short trade? Exactly. You just look for short trade. Super. Super, guys. Super. Nice. Okay. So, now... This part is done. Okay, so now you understood whether the market is uptrend or downtrend. Now there will be a question. Didi, I don't know like what trades to take. Okay, what trades to take? I, I just know from trending away, the market is negative. Then what trade I can just take? It's very simple. Okay, just go to dashboard. And in dashboard, you can click on find a strategy. You can click on find a strategy and once you click on find a strategy then it will automatically populate it automatically populates different option option strategies for you okay just give me a moment okay it just shows you positive trades negative trades you just click on negative and then click on find strategy okay so i have a bullish view in nifty so i click on positive and click on find a strategy now i see uh, if I'm risking thousand rupees, okay, I, I risking nine hundred rupees. I'm going to I'm going to get thousand five hundred. Okay, this strategy is good. Then I can just like that click on execute, and then execute once again. Now it will be placed in my broker terminal. Now it will be placed in the broker terminal. It's simple, right? You just come over here to the dashboard. Click on find a strategy. And if you have a negative view, click on negative view in the market. Find a strategy. Then you see 700 rupees risking, 1,700 rupees you're going to get. Execute it. Once again, execute the order. That's it done. The order is executed in your broker terminal. Okay, it's such simple. Or else, 
you want to analyze so i just don't want to place it immediately i have a bearish view in the market but i need to analyze it then click on analyze then insta options will guide you to analyze okay what is exactly happening so if the market comes down it will make money if the market comes down it will make money okay so now i will ask you a question market has potential to come down till what level based upon the bars what you can see over here market can come up to which level to in the bottom i told it's a downtrend we have taken trade for downtrend now you guys tell me exactly mr kumar 21000 because we have the highest put option open interest over here we have the highest put option open interest over here so which means that the market will go up from like until market reaches 21000 we are on a safer hand we have the cushion till 21000 okay so these are the things like what you can get so make use of it and definitely it's going to be like very much helpful users you'll be getting it at free of cost for all the trade smart peoples okay that's nice i do think so my voice is my voice clear because there was an indication that my uh, internet is having a poor connect is it breaking now now clear okay fine i think so it's, it's got resolved fine See, like it's going to be very simple login. Okay, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Don't worry. Okay, I'll just show you. Don't worry. Okay, so what you're going to do is okay, you just put trade smart dot insta options dot in. I'm just going to put this in everyone. Okay, I just put this for everyone. You can just like that click on trade smart over here okay hope you got the link over there in the chat box just click on the link what i have posted in the chat box and save it somewhere either you can just whatsapp it someone or put it in a notepad trade smart dot insta options dot in Okay, have you guys done? You just copied this and pasted it somewhere. Okay, fine, super. Okay, nice. So you can just put your client ID and then password. You can just log in. You just you'll get the OTP and then you can log in. Okay, it's such simple. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, oh no, no, you just first get get yourself registered. Okay, get yourself registered. You will have an option to sign in. Sorry, sign up. Okay. Yeah, first you need to create it. The file super okay so now what we do and still now this is this platform is okay but what add what value it's going to add to you so now comes the combined premium now comes the combined premium this is one of the very 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 important feature this is one of the very very important feature okay this is going to help you guys to a greater extent Just hold.
Okay, so we got something known as combined premium. Okay, how many of you do short, straddle, and strangle? Come on, guys, let me know in chat box. How many of you do combined, uh, sorry, uh, straddle and strangle? Come on, guys, how many of you do straddle and strangle? Okay, so we have one. Daily I'm doing, okay, that's great, super. I just go to neutral strategy and then put straddle. Okay, so this is the combined premium of the straddle. 41,350. 41,350. You just examine one thing. This straddle, 41,300 straddle, did it make money from the opening candle? Till this time. So till this time, whether it's made money. The straddle opened over here because the first candle let's just ignore it okay so what it does is install options sums up both the call option and then the put option and create it as a single create it as a single chart it created as a single chart okay and you can see there is no erosion from 9.20 till 3 o'clock. From 9.20 till 3 o'clock, if someone is sitting in the system, he is not. it's not possible for him to make money. And in the last 10 minutes candle, which is from 20 till 30, so 3.20 till 3.30, we can see a, a decent erosion of 20 points happened. That is also not big. Only 20 points of erosion happened, that too in the last 10 minutes. So now, if someone put straddle over here or here, he would have not faced a big profit till end of the session. Okay, if someone had the gut to take that straddle at this point, at this point, would have made money. Or else, no one would have made money over here. Okay, this is... Okay, this is also still okay. But what else can be added? Just go and click on indicator and put super trend on top of which you can take your trades. You put super trends and then take your trades. You can take long straddle. You can take short straddle. You can take long over here. You can take short over here. You can put deploy different indicators and create your trade setups. You can put different indicators and create your trade setup. How is it? How is it, guys? See, till now, whatever you would have done is very simple. Till now, whatever you have done, it is very simple. Okay. So, this adds value that from what point you can enter. It's, it's no way be useful whenever it is above the super trend. And whenever it is below the super trend, you can just take for a short position. And that too. What the VWAP do? VWAP VWAP is nothing but weighted volume and see whenever it is below the VWAP level, you, you can see who is making money. Okay, whenever it is below the VWAP level, whenever it is below the VWAP level, who is making money? Buyers or sellers? Okay, whenever it is above the VWAP level, who is making money? Okay, now who's making money? Above the VWAP, buyers are making money. Below the VWAP, sellers are making money. Okay, so let's just do this on Bank Nifty. 
just do the same straddle and bank nifty okay so now bank nifty short straddle 47200 okay and 47200 or 47300 call and put 400 400 premium did anyone made money on this case anyone made money on this case it made such cruel concern today such cruel one and now what we do we just try to examine one more thing just i can see this multi strike oa over here just a click on it and you see did you notice one thing very clearly see in the morning the both the premiums are eroding both the premiums are eroding see one is uh, actually i just done some mistake i think so sorry i just put strangle and then put straddle Okay, I just put straddle, combined premium. Okay, sorry, I just made a small mistake. I selected both call option by, by unknowing, I just selected it. Okay, so now you can see here, I just apply indicator super trend. And then I put VWAP. In the morning, buyers literally made money okay once it closes below the super trend and below the vwap just see who made money who made money sellers once it below the vwap and below the super trend sellers made pretty good money over here sellers made pretty good money over here and then just see from here to here, 287 points. From the entry of super trend, okay. How many, how much points you have gathered? And see, you don't need to put any defined stop loss. You don't need to put any sort of defined stop loss. All what you can do is you just trial it based upon super trend. You can trial it based upon super trend. Once it, once it closes above the super trend, the super trend is going to become green and you're going to exit the trade. Okay. So now let me just ask you guys, uh, let me put, put short strangle and see, instead of straddle, I take strangle. I'm selling 100, 100 premium. And just imagine over here, from 12 o'clock itself, we started making money here. From here till here, 220 points of erosion. 220 points of erosion. Is it good or not? And let me just see the what's the premium happening. See, one premium was 330 rupees in the morning. And you can see one thing. The put option premium in the bottom has never increased even though the bank nifty was having a negative bias the put option premium has never increased what happened to the call option premium he shooted up he came down 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 and he at some point he both become equal see this sort of analysis can give you a different view on the market it can give you a different view on the market Okay, and this will add value to your trading skill. If you're doing it positional, or if you're doing it intraday, you have value to do with it. You have value to do with it. And these are the things you guys need to learn from insta options. Okay, exactly, exactly. So, and you can just, you can just understand these things in a very clear way. Okay, and you can just understand what about the open interest, how the open interest are reacting, how the prices are changing. You can look into the payoff chart. You can look into the open interest data inside the chart. And then you can just look into the combined premium, apply your indicators on top of which you, you can add all these indicators, like or not all these indicators in the sense, like whatever you want to use, you can just use it over here. Okay, and you can, you can even trade based upon ORB. Okay. And you can just take, take trade based upon VWAP. You can just put parabolic SAR. 
you can put on bulbs volume you can just put see it's totally your call now okay it's totally your call now okay and you can just make some trending concerns like whenever it is uh, below closest below the lower bollinger band then you can just take the trade because that's a, that's more indication of uh, bearish trend so that it, it won't get up once again okay so these are the things you guys need to understand it's 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 it, it's just going to add more value to your system it's going to add more value to your system okay i hope so you guys understood like whatever i was trying to say is it clear come on guys is it clear or not till now whatever i thought is clear or not super super so let me just start and go ahead about the see these are the very important part of insta options okay so now i'll just give you an overview okay so whenever you come to dashboard you can just look into the nifty bank nifty fin nifty mid cap concerns over here and long build up short build up long unwinding short covering concerns over here like these are stocks you can just trade from here you can just buy and then you can just sell it from here itself and then you can just look into the index contributor where you can just identify what points has been contributed for the index movement so today icici bank uh, was responsible for 112 points of down movement in bank nifty and similarly you can just look for nifty as well so nifty has came down uh, because of icc bank 16 points and gained 21 points because of infi lnt hcl wipro tcs and which clearly shows us nifty it was boom today and uh, fin nifty 42 points because of icc bank hdfc bank 42 points uh, it's like these turned into negative and in positive kotak bank uh, turned it up into positive concern okay these things you can understand from this particular index contribution and find a strategy is what i said earlier and option data so this is what the option chain is looks like so if you want to do a short straddle you no need to add it to the market watch just like that you can just click on sell click on sell here execute it you don't need to add these things to your uh, market watch every time okay then oa statistics you look okay this strike is going to be sell this strike is going to be because market is going to be within this range and if you sell these two strikes you are going to make money click on sell click on so just have a click on it change from buy to sell execute it that's it no need to add the strike to the market watch and then do it trending way we have defined it earlier and put call ratio and then the option chart where you can just look into a, a defined strike so 47500 like this 44000 call and put what it is doing what's the open interest of the particular strike then it comes to a strategy where you can just look into combined premium and payoff chart and the multi strike oa and you can just look into the price as well what it is doing then you can just go to the order book where you can just see what are the positions you have order book so these are the orders which we have placed but uh, most of, because the market is closed this order did not get executed then we just look into the trade book once the trade has happened it will show in trade book and then holdings like these are the holdings like what i have over here in this stock in this particular thing and then the basket order uh, so you can just uh, okay so what, what is this basket order is all about so you have something like you want to put a short straddle the next day so you, you do your analysis in the night then you can just click on add to basket okay also you want to place it on the next day morning come to the basket order now you find the item over here just click on view and if you want to analyze it click on analyze or else if you want to execute it just click on execute now the order will be placed and after the analysis you want to place it very simple you can just find it in the place order details just click on place order and then click execute the order that's it the order will be executed okay so we have a settings option as well so in settings you can just maintain it as a um, white team or a dark team you can just take uh, margin benefits because there will be two legs added first the buy order will be executed and then the sell order will be executed you can you can make these things default and sound if you want you can just put sound and the buyer mode seller mode like the obviously the strike selections once we click it will show sell first then only you can just change it to buy if it is buy it will be showing buy first then you need to click on and then make it a sell 
you can change like if you want to place all your orders on nrml then you can just put nrml and all your orders on limit or market it's totally your call you can just select so everything you can just change as the default and lot size you can just put five lots or if you if you start with you put only five lots then you can just put five lots like this okay so this will help you out so make you like you can be more active trader okay that's super and how to get login yourself it's going to be very very simple so uh, you just i just post the link in the chat box tradesmart.instaoptions.in and over here you can just click on trade smart and then you can just put a client id and password and then sign up okay that's good so I'm just done with it uh, if you have any questions you can just post it in the chat box i'll try to reply and if you have any further doubts okay so you can just uh, contact the support team uh, so i hope so like you guys know the support details uh, of uh, trade smart so let me just give you once again. So uh, you can just write to support dot trades uh, tradesmart online dot in. Okay, let me just post it. Post the link in the chat box. Okay, uh, you are getting an error which is uh, invalid user. Can you please share the recording? Yeah, it's like I think I do think so. The support the support team will share the. Link you can just write uh, right up to the uh, mail. I just uh, put over here. Can we get the recordings here? See, you can just if you need to get the recording, you just write a uh, write a mail to support dot online dot in. So they will give you the concept. The strategy some show require margin. Like uh, no, actually, like uh, we don't show any sort of margin. Like it's it's very simple. Like strategy is going to cost us one lakh. Whereas the ratio splits is not more than going to be 35,000. And the margin will be added shortly, don't worry. Okay. And it's totally free of cost for all the trade smart users. For those who are facing difficulty, don't worry. Our tech team is looking into like we'll be giving you one option to sign up. Okay, don't worry. Okay. You can pop out charts. You can pop out charts like uh, from here. You can just maximize your charts. Any other questions?
thank you guys uh, thank you all for joining um, so it's, it's something great uh, being with you guys so we'll connect with another different uh, webinar in the upcoming days thank you all for joining is we be signing off for the day uh, so we will we'll end up with different scenarios and different uh, um, like we'll be giving you lots and lots of insights about uh, install options in the upcoming days okay i'll just post you the link once again okay i just posted the link yeah sure we'll we'll do beginners webinar don't worry tradesmart.instoptions.in login you can just log in with it thank you thank you all i'm just ending the session for everyone thank you